You know, a Cajun is a strange sort of person. If, if you let him talk a little while, he can talk himself damn near into anything. Maybe he just sees silver tongued devil. But if you let him talk too long, he'll talk himself right out of it, no matter what it is. With that in mind, I'd like to tell you about three Cajuns that died and they, they went to heaven and they met St. Peter at the Pearly Gates. So there's three Cajuns in St. Peter, and St. Peter's looking at these three Cajuns and says, Come, I said, three Cajuns? I don't get any Cajuns. He said, I just can't let them into heaven, just straight up like that. He said, I'm going to have to give them some kind of test. He said, can't make it too hard. Never pass it. <laughs> he said, wait a minute. He said, I'll tell you what, guys. He said, if any one of you guys can tell me the Easter story, you tell me what happened at Easter, I'll let you into heaven. Fontenot, he said, you first. Well, oh, Fontenot thought about that a good while. Calm, bless the Easter story. He said, wait a minute, he said, I think I got it. He said, once a year, they got a little fat man. He got a white beard and a red suit. And he got some deer with flies. He said, I never seen nothing like that. And he said, he got a sack full of toys. And he goes around everywhere and he dropped toys off to the little children. And he makes everybody happy. He said, that's the Easter story. He said, is it true? <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I ain't no Easter story. He says, Thibodeau, he says, you're next. Poor Thibodeau rocked back on his heels a minute. He said, calm. Dang, he said, the Easter story. He said, wait, he said, I think I got it. He said, I can't tell you what year that was. But he said, it was a long time ago. There's these three ships what left Spain. And they sailed all the way across the ocean. He said, they land themselves on a rock. He said, it sounded like a car, that rock. He said, Clement. He said, that's it. He said, they... they, they they got there and he said they found him some Indian. He said they buried some fish in the ground. He said, I don't know what the hell for. <laughs> Plant some corn, kill some turkey, and pass the good time all day long. He said, that's the Easter story. <laughs> St. Peter said, no, I ain't no Easter story. He said, uh, Rosa, he said, uh, you're the last man. You got to do it. Boy, Rosa thought about that a while. He said, the Easter story, the Easter story. He said, wait. He said, I think I got it. He said, if I remember right, he said, it was right around that year one. He said, that this little baby what was born. He said, if I remember right, they had some sheep, some cow, some horse, and some pig all around that little baby. And these three wise men come, brought that little baby some presents. He said, made the family happy like hell. He said, they took that little baby to go and raise him somewhere else in one of them other towns. He said, grow up to be a striking young man. He said, the only problem, he start his own religion and he piss everybody off. <laughs> God bless. He said, they arrest that old boy. He said, they throw him in jail like that. Two, three days later, took him out of jail. Strap across him, march him up a hill. They kill that man. Took him off that and go and bury him in a big hole in the ground. Put him in that hole, roll a big rock on top of him. St. Peter does. You getting there? <laughs> you coming, boy? Go ahead. Boy, that Cajun got excited. He said, that's right. He said, don't you know, three days later, they don't come back to that same hole. They rolled that rock off of that man. Don't you thought that man done got up out that hole? St. Peter says, that's it, boy. You got it. That's the Easter story. He said, wait a minute. He said, I'm not finished. <laughs> He said, every February, when he come out that hole, if he see his shadow, we got bad weather for six weeks. 